What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So I have my evil twin with me today to tell me his experience of the Galaxy Note 8. Welcome to the show. Yes, so I want to thank you for having me on your show. And I want to give you my thoughts about the Galaxy Note 8 as the average consumer. I'm going to give you the lowdown, what I think about the device, the good and the bad about the Galaxy Note 8. Okay, so before we get into it, let me go ahead and hit my intro. Get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So I got my evil twin with me today to give me his experience of what the Galaxy Note 8, he been having a device since after I did my final review with the phone. So before we get into it, let me go ahead and talk about the specs. The Galaxy Note 8, is, has that whopping 835 processor, six gigs of RAM. It also has that huge 6.4 inch display. Uh, we have 64 gigs of internal storage complemented by SD call support. Uh, you do have do uh, 12 megapixel cameras, optical, image stabilization and the 8 megapixel camera in the front all right so i think that the galaxy note 8 is a well-built well-rounded device uh and it does have its flaws it is a good device it is one of the best note devices that's around, right? I mean, if you're coming from the Galaxy Note 5, right? So uh, at this point, uh, let me go down and get into some questions uh, with uh, my evil twin. Again, I wanna welcome you here uh, to the show. What are some of your first impressions with the Galaxy Note 8? My thoughts and first impressions of the Galaxy Note 8 is that this device is a huge footprint. It's very difficult to hold in one hand due to the big size of the 6.3 inch display. Also, since this is an all glass design, this device requires a case. So believe it or not, even though it's a beautiful, gorgeous design, you have to cover it all up with a case. And I do highly recommend a case due to the slipperiness of the back of the device. And believe me, even though they claiming Gorilla Glass 5 on this device, if you drop this phone, you are done. And I tell you what, it's one thing to have a gorgeous device, but have a cracked back or a cracked screen, definitely is not a good look. But uh, one of the things that I really want to get into about the Galaxy Note 8 is the variability of the colors. I ordered this from Samsung Unlock in the United States, and unfortunately, it's only one color option, which is black. And I can tell you that that's not a good look for me. I've seen at the keynote address that they had four or five colors. Uh, black is a good color, sweet color, no problem. I mean, I had to put a, a skin on it just to kind of change the color. Of, but uh, Samsung.com doesn't have any availability as far as colors. Now, I do know that you can get other colors through a carrier, but if I wanted to buy this device unlocked through Samsung, in the United States, this device is only available in one color. I think with the things we've seen at the keynote address, I believe that Samsung should have all the colors available for us in the United States. Also with storage options, this device is only 64 gigs, right? And I've heard and I've seen uh, some uh, other storage options like 256 gigs and 128 gigs. Why those options are not available for us to consume? I don't know. So let me ask you this question. What do you think about the screen quality of the Galaxy Note 8? So let me talk about the screen of the Galaxy Note 8. Uh, at first glance, it's a gorgeous display, but after watching some of your videos or watching some other YouTube videos, I believe that Samsung has done something to the average consumer that, you know, kind of shattered us a little bit. When I take this phone out of the box, the first boot is set at 1080p, right? But this is supposed to be a Quad HD Plus display. I don't understand why Samsung got it set at 1080p. What they're trying to save battery life? I don't know. But I can tell you that the underlying question to me is why, as an average consumer, that this device out of the box is set at 1080p. If I want to watch good videos, good quality photos, good everything at high resolution, me as a consumer, I have to go into settings and up the resolution if I want to get that beautiful quality content at a high resolution. So somebody that buys the Galaxy Note 8, you really got to go into the settings and set it up for Quiet HD Plus. I mean, to get that full experience, why? Why would Samsung do that uh, to us consumers? I noticed that with the Galaxy S8. 
uh, that the device was set at 1080p. And the average consumer like myself, I would never go into the settings and check this, but the screen is gorgeous but it's not set at the highest resolution. I mean, what Samsung's trying to pull on us here? I'm not sure, but as an average consumer, note to y'all guys, if you get the Galaxy Note 8, if you get the Galaxy S8, go into your settings and set it at 1440p at the high resolution so you can see the content with this device. Okay, so as you mentioned battery life on the Galaxy Note 8, what are your experiences with the battery life so far with this device? All right, so let's get into this. The battery life with the Galaxy Note 8. This device has a 3300 milliamp battery. Now I just lost everybody. The 3300 milliamp battery, more tech jargon, right? Let me give you the spill with the battery life with the Galaxy Note 8. I can tell you that I could take this device off the charge at about 7 a.m. in the morning, about two o'clock p.m. I got to recharge. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's because if you look at if you watch videos using the S Pen, do get some work done. This device kind of give me about five, five and a half hours of on-screen time. Uh, and I can tell you that the battery life on the Galaxy Note 8 is good, but in 2017, it's not great. I mean, five and a half hours of screen on time is okay. It's not the best. I do understand that it got a lot of features and a lot of stuff running in the background and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, 3300 milliamp battery is a small battery compared to other devices, mid tiers, or even the lower end devices that could give you six, seven, eight hours of on screen time with full day, maybe a day and a half worth of usage. But my usage with the Galaxy Note 8, I can tell you that I got to recharge this device after about five and a half, close to six hours. It's, a, it, it's okay, but it's not the best. I do understand as an average consumer, we don't understand this tech jogging and all this technology behind the battery and the, the 835 process is supposed to be efficient and all that stuff like that. At the end of the day, as an average consumer, when your battery dies, it dies. So I think that the battery life on the Galaxy Note 8 is good, but not great. Wow, so you're giving me some very in-depth information about the Galaxy Note 8. Let's get into it, right? Let's talk about the cameras on the Galaxy Note 8. The, this device has dual 12 megapixels, optical image stabilization, it's supposed to be King Supreme of 2017. Uh, give me your thoughts about the cameras on the Galaxy Note 8. Okay, so let me give you my thoughts about the cameras on this device. It's kind of a mixed bag for me. Taking still footage, awesome. Nighttime footage, low light footage, awesome. Uh, but this device is set at 1080p, 30 frames per second. 4K is awesome. 1080p, 30 frames per second is awesome. But I like to shoot at high frame rates. And today, uh, I look at the 1080p, 60 frames per second, and I know, Eric, you've made countless videos about it. I've seen other YouTubers make videos about it. I know that a lot of bloggers and stuff like that talk about the 1080p 60 frames per second. I know that for some strange reason, going all the way back to the Galaxy S7, we had this issue with 1080p 60 frames per second. What is the deal with 1080p 60 frames per second? Slow focusing, not focusing at all. I mean, these are the things that I'm seeing with the Galaxy Note 8. I had the same problem with the Galaxy S8. I mean, the Galaxy Note 8 has the same problem. Well, slow focusing, for some strange reason, when you're shooting at 1080p, 60 frames per second, this device gives you a focusing problem. Now, I found that if you tap the screen as you record at 60 frames per second, it will manually focus it. But at auto mode, it is terrible, almost unusable. I do understand that. So let's go to get into the speed of the Galaxy Note 8. Uh, this device is rocking the latest processor, which is the Snapdragon 835 with six gigs of RAM. So give me your user experience uh, about the performance of the Galaxy Note 8. There you go, talking about specs again. Look, as an average consumer, picking up the Galaxy Note 8 is a very fast and fluid device. I don't have no problem with performance. And I can tell you that this is the first Galaxy phone that don't give you that Galaxy lag. I mean, I've been having a device, it's been very fast and fluid. The six gigs of RAM with the 835 processor, all this tech jargon, somehow it's working. Wow, sound like you're happy of the performance of the Galaxy Note 8. So go ahead and give me your final thoughts about the Galaxy Note 8. What do you think overall about this device? 
Okay, so let me give you my final thoughts. The Galaxy Note 8 is a very good device, very premium device, but it does have its shortcomings. The S Pen on this device is phenomenal. I do things on this device that you write, you say it in your videos a lot, that you can't do on other devices, right? I mean, the S Pen makes this device a complete device, right? But you do have those small Tic Tac issues. I like the Galaxy Note 8. I like the user experience of the Galaxy Note 8. I like everything about the Galaxy Note 8. I mean, you do have a small flaw with it. Uh, as far as the placement of fingerprint scanner, uh, when you're talking about the 1080p 60 frames per second, most people will say, well, Eric, don't use 1080p 60 frames per second. You know what? When you're paying almost $1,000 for a phone, how could anybody tell me not to use 1080p 60 frames per second? Also, with the battery life, 3300 milliamp battery, and yes, they do have fast charging. Yes, this device does have wireless charging. It has all the bells and whistles. It has waterproofing, everything, a headphone jack. I mean, in the box, it comes with good AKG headphones, which is great. I mean, so you do get all the bells and whistles with this device. Samsung give you every software tweak that they can with this device. I mean, you got edge panels, you got everything with this device. I mean, you have live messenger. I mean, you have enhancements with the S Pen that's unheard of. I really like the look and feel of the device. I really like everything about the Galaxy Note 8. It is a good device. Every phone has a flaw. We know this already, but the Galaxy Note 8 is a very, all well-built device and it is a contender for being 2017 phone of the year wow that's great to hear and i like to do this so i can hear some user experiences between a lot of people look like to me you do have some reservations about the galaxy note 8 again i like to get real world use some experiences from other people about what they think about the galaxy note 8 me as a techie i go into tech specs and stuff like that to try to you know give people the best of both worlds but this interview is designed to give people the other side of the coin uh, some real world use some people that doesn't want to hear about the tech jogging and all that stuff like that. So today you really went in depth and you really talked about your experience with the Galaxy Note 8. Thank you very much for coming out for this interview. I really do appreciate it. Guys, my evil twin, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy Note 8 and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.